Hey guys, it's Miss Sue from the CORE organization here with our lesson 10 from our Art From Home series. Hope you guys are hanging in there. I know it's a little difficult not being in school, but we're trying to give you something fun to do each week. Hopefully you've been following along. Today we're going to mix it up a bit. We've been doing a lot of animals and characters, but all the flowers are popping up all over the place now in the spring. And today we're going to do something like this, a kind of like an abstract background tulip which is a lot of fun. We're going to use our regular paper and markers and crayons. We're going to mix, mix the two together today. Um, tulips, there's over 150 different kinds of tulips. So maybe when you're walking around your neighborhood, you can start looking for different colors and types of tulips. Um, so who is ready to draw this abstract tulip? Give me two thumbs up. So to start with, we're going to have our white sheet of paper and we're going to hold it our portrait way, not landscape remembering our review words portrait and we're just going to use a dark marker to begin with um, you'll need some colored markers and we're also going to mix in some crayons or colored pencils or something if you have it if you don't have all of those it's fine you can use your markers or crayons or whatever you do have so to start with we're going to make the big bulb of the tulip we're going to start about one third of the way down our page with a curve line just like that then we're going to make some diagonally kind of curved lines that look like a crown one two three go the other way four five six so we have the base of our tulip, kind of looking like a crown. Next, we're going to make the stem, which is a big curve line all the way down your paper. So we're going to start right just to the right of the middle of the crown. Come down with the curve line. Then our famous copycat line right next to it. So we have the stem. We're going to put one leaf to the right with a curve line up and a curve line down. We're going to make a leaf to the left so it balances with the curve line up and the curve line back to the stem. We're going to move up here before doing some detail with the petals of the tulip. So we're going to start right at the right of that crown, come all the way up and curve back to the crown. We're going to move to the other side and do the same thing. Curve line up, a little dip, curve line down. We're going to put the middle petal in by a curve line up, a little dip, and a curved line over. We're going to show the petals that are behind these three in the front and we need to show the petals that are behind so we'll come from this side of this two, this uh, leaf, curve line up, curve line down. One in the middle, curve line up, curve line down and one more little guy right there. So now we have the outline from this tulip. We're going to have a bud growing off the bottom of the stem. So let's go all the way down here, almost to the bottom of the stem with a big curve line up. So this little bud over here is also going to have a stem just like our main flower. So we'll copycat that line right down there. Now the, the little bud over here, this flower is going to be opened up, but the little bud over here is going to be closed. So it's almost a leaf shape. Same leaves we did off the stem. It's going to curve up and curve down. That's going to be a closed, a smaller flower, but closed. Because before the tulips open up, they look like this, all closed up. And then the sun comes out and they wake up and say hello to the world. <laughs> Now we're going to put a little bit of details in our contour drawing, which is we're going to start 
on the top of this leaf, I'm going to draw a line with squiggly line down and copycat it up, but open it up a little bit when we get to the end. And we're going to shade that in with whatever dark color you're using. We'll shade that design element in. I'm going to do the same thing with this leaf, a little curvy line down and back up to the top where we, it's wider at the top than it is at the bottom. Shade that in with whatever dark color you're using. Um, same thing with the little bulb that's closed. So we're getting some darks and some lights and some contrast. We're going to do that same method we've been doing from the, for the petals, but we're going to go opposite from the bottom up. So this time it gets wider at the bottom and narrower as it goes up. So like a little pointy pinnacle. One there. We'll put a line in this one. Uh, we'll put one here. Narrow at the top, wide at the bottom, and we'll shade that in. And one here. In the middle petal. And one on the end. So we're getting a lot of contrast, a lot of nice darks and lights. We're also going to, with whatever dark color you're using, we're going to fill in the stems of both our main flower and the bud. So let's start with the main flower. Darken that in, shade that in nicely. all the way to the bottom. Almost there. So there's our stem of our main flower. We're going to do it to the little bulb. Same thing. Shade that stem in with your dark. And we're also going to fill that crown in that crown that we drew first. Let's shade that in dark as well. So we're working our whole drawing actually at once. Almost done with our crown. this line a little bit. There. Now we're going to put kind of some a repeat stem that could be a leaf or another stem. We're just going to curve line up, come to a point, and copycat down to the bottom for an extra leaf. And we're going to shade that in.
So we're balancing darks and lights throughout our whole drawing. We're going to put another small curved line that points on both ends, almost like that crescent moon shape. It's really just a, a graphic of a leaf or stem. So we have some on this side and we're going to do a couple on the other side to balance off our, our drawing really nicely. We'll put a bigger one on the bottom, a half moon. And shade it in. And we're going to put another small one, a little small moon. Right about there. Now we have a nice base. There's lots of blacks and lights and darks and lights. Now comes the fun part, the color. So you can choose whatever color you want for your tulip. I'm going to go with a, it's almost red as a deep, deep magenta, but you can choose whatever color you want your tulip to be. We're going to do this a little bit graphic -y and a little bit um, abstract. So graphic means uh, solid, kind of more solid colors. Um, you'll see in the little demo there are dark, dark pink, light pink, dark greens, big solid colors everywhere. We're going to start with the top leaf, but we're only going to do half of it. So whatever color you choose, make a line right down almost the center of that tulip, that leaf, and shade that in with whatever your main color is going to be. Try not to color the whole leaf in because we're going to do some nice shading. We'll color this back leaf the same dark, dark pink or whatever color you're using. We're going to put, draw a little line above here and shade this in, this leaf. Again, we're not coloring the whole petals because we want to put some highlights, some lighter color highlights. We will color the top part, so draw a line right across the top one and only shade the top half with your dark. This one we're going to just do to the right of the line we drew right down the middle. Let's only shade the right part in with the dark. And then just a line on the left side. And for the big petal, let's copycat that pointy pinnacle shape in the middle. So we'll draw a line, copycat it like that. And we're going to shade the outer part with the dark. There, that gives us all our dark parts of the top main flower. Now take a color that's lighter. If you used red or pink, you can use a light pink. If you used a dark blue, you can use a light blue. If you used a purple, you can use a lavender. But choose a color that's lighter than what you've used because now we're going to put the highlights in. So all that's left that's white on your main flower is going to be that lighter highlight color. And you'll see it makes for a much more interesting drawing than as if we than if we had colored them all solid. So let's get those light 
that light highlights in and see how nicely your flower starts to come to life to look a little more realistic. There, we have our main flower. Now we're going to, with those same two colors we used, we're going to do the little bud over here. So we're going to draw a space so that we can have our highlight on the top and our dark on the bottom. So we'll do the bottom half, the dark color, and we will have the highlight on the top. Great, so now we have both pots of the flower, the tulip, and it's the same, it's going from the same stem, so it's likely that both the flowers would be the same color. Now we're gonna do these two leaves here and some green, but what I'm gonna do this week that's different, we're gonna offset the color that we choose for the leaves just to make it kind of an interesting drawing. See how in the demo, I do another leaf kind of behind this leaf. That's what we're gonna do. So we can leave some white of the paper showing through for interest and to make it a little bit more abstract. So we're going to start here and draw the same leaf, curve it right through that leaf. And we're gonna color that in with your green. Do the same thing with this leaf. So we'll draw another leaf shape that kind of goes right through that one. And we'll shade that in green. While we have that green, we're gonna copycat some of our design elements that we drew in the beginning to balance our paper, our drawing off. So we're gonna copycat that crescent moon right on top of it. Shade it in green. We're gonna copycat this curved stem leaf right on top of that one. Same thing on this side, symmetry. Same thing on this side. Copycat the smaller crescent moon shape. And right underneath this one, a little bit smaller, another crescent moon. Now here comes the fun part. So we have a tulip and it's kind of realistic, kind of abstract a little bit. Now we're going to do the background in a lot of fun colors. And that's why I call it an abstract tulip, this, this lesson. So we're gonna take some really bright colors and we're gonna put splotches of areas all around to make it a uh, pretty interesting background. We're gonna use crayons. If you have markers and you're using markers or the whole thing is crayons, that's fine. This time I'm gonna mix up my materials, markers, crayons, and paper. And I'm gonna put some spots of bright, bright yellow. And I'm just going to press kind of hard so that it's nice and bright. And I'm just gonna color in some, not really scribble, kind of a linear. Kind of just making straight lines, pressing kind of hard to get a nice area of yellow. And I'm gonna spread this yellow around. So I did it up here. I'm gonna put some in here. Gonna move all around the paper with a few different colors down to the bottom. I'm pressing pretty hard because I want the crayon to appear dark like the marker, but with a little bit of different texture. You can see the marker is a little smoother and the crayon 
leaves a rougher texture when it hits the paper. Gonna move over here. So all around the paper, we're gonna get splotches of color in. Yellow, some over here. In the corner maybe. Oops, I just broke it. I guess I pressed a little too hard. <laughs> don't have to press that hard. You don't have to break your crayons. Uh, let's see, maybe up, up in the corner. Nice bright spots of yellow. Maybe right behind this bud. So now we have some bright yellow kind of spread out everywhere. Let's choose another bright color. I'm gonna go with some orange, which is also nice and bright. I'm going to press pretty hard. Hopefully I won't break my crayon this time. I'm going to add orange in. Nice bright. Right up against the yellow. Some here underneath this leaf maybe. Between the design elements, we'll go orange. Come down by the stem. You can just move around wherever you feel like you want to put some orange in. Moving around the paper for balance. Some here. I love how the orange and green and yellow all meet to give you some nice spring colors. Orange, let's see, maybe some up here. Some underneath. Right up against the yellow. Now we've got some yellow and orange. Now let's go with a, how about a blue? Let's get a blue in there. Orange and blue being the complementary colors. Let's get some bright blue. Next to the orange. Some blue uh, under here. Some blue down here. Move to this side. It's kind of uneven everywhere. I'll throw some blue here. A 
Looking pretty good. Let's see, what else do we need? How about some purple, some lavender? Lavender next to yellow always looks nice. Complementary colors, purple and yellow. Some lavender. Under the leaf. Let's see. Um, where does it need some purple? Underneath the flower? How about underneath the blue? I'll come over to this area a little bit. That looks pretty balanced with purple. Now we'll take a, maybe a light pink and start to put in some bright pinks. We're using up almost all our white space. Spread the pink around. What do we have left? Um, I think maybe I'll just use a little bit darker pink in places, see what that looks like. Yeah, we'll bring out some dark pinks. And all of the spots that you have left that are white, except for the two leaves. I'm gonna fill in with the dark. My last color of splotchy colors is this dark pink. One more. So there we have our abstract tulip. So we have our finished abstract tulip, and I hope that a lot of the boys in my classes have done this as well. Don't think flowers are just for girls. Um, some of the most famous floral paintings are Vincent van Gogh's sunflowers and Monet's water lilies. They were both men artists, and I know that your mom or your grandma would love for you to draw this for them, and I hope that you do, and send it to them in the mail or Send it to your grandma if she doesn't live with you. It would be great. She'd love to receive that. Um, so until next time, give me that virtual fist bump out. One, two, three.